Helen Vendler, on the other hand, is someone who at least has uh, a good sort of MLS, Chicago Manual style understanding of classical poetic terms and what they're supposed to mean and whatnot. Bloom doesn't. Um, you know, uh, B uh, Bloom uh, is one of these phonies along with Joseph Campbell, and we can talk about that son of a bitch. <laughs> I mean, uh, you know, I'm, I'm actually going to be doing a Dan Schneider video interview about Kurt Vonnegut uh, towards the end of the year. And Kurt Vonnegut had the best dismissal ever of Joseph Campbell. You know, his whole, uh, his whole uh, bullshit theories about, you know, uh, storytelling and whatnot. And, and Vonnegut said, oh, yes, uh, wasn't that the man who uh, came up with the idea that all stories about the hero gets into trouble, the hero gets out of trouble? And that's basically the whole, Joseph Campbell built a whole fucking career out of this one meager premise. And he's been celebrated by morons like that Bill Moyers uh, ever since. And it's just, it's just really insane when you think about it. But um, uh, getting back to like Helen Vendler, Vendler was uh, someone who, you know, understands poetics to a certain degree. She just doesn't understand what makes something good. She could tell you what enjambment is. She couldn't get in and tell you what makes for good enjambment. She could tell you what uh, symbolism is for and how it should be used or whatnot. She couldn't tell you or give you an instance of good symbolism if it bit her on the ass. So she's a different kind of bad critic than Bloom. Bloom is a total incompetent. Helen Vendler is sort of uh, uh, a competent incompetent. <laughs>